What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Mad Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty. Yes, the Georgia State Dynasty is back just like I promised and we're going to go through year 9 offseason here in this video. Last time we saw the Panthers, they beat up on Western Kentucky 63-3. to We'll first take a look at head coach Chip Nolan's contract here. He signed an extension a few years back, a 7-year extension. And he has been lights out. Four straight bowl victories, two Sun Belt championships in the last four years, and the move to the SEC last year. We'll take a look at season and career stats here now. Steve Smith leaving us. He's a senior, and he had over 3,200 passing yards this season, 21 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Running backs, Anthony Gross, over 1,200 yards rushing. Stephen Leach, 471. Gross with 16 touchdowns, Leach with 6. Receivers, Luther Madison, the leading receiver for the year, over 1,200 yards receiving, 6 touchdowns. Trevor Phillips behind him, just under 1,000 receiving, and 9 touchdowns. And Terrence Flynn, third, with just under 500. Looking at the defense, Thomas Hendricks, middle linebacker, led the team in tackles with 76. He also had 8 for a loss and 2 sacks. Jarvis Hall, second. Isaac Washington led the team in sacks with 13, and Patrick Smith second with 11. Ben Wood led the way, or tied with B.J. Allen with four interceptions, and Jarvis Hall forced three fumbles. We forced six overall, and Charles James recovered one of those. Patrick Smith and Hendricks also recovered one, and so did Holly. Looking at career stats now, Steve Smith started all four years of his career and he did an excellent job. Over 13,000 passing yards, 125 touchdowns, and a pretty good career for Smith. Anthony Gross, he started all four years as well. Over 4,300 rushing yards. He had 55 rushing touchdowns, and his longest rush was 83 yards. Luther Madison, he'll be leaving us and he had over 3,400 receiving yards starting all four years. The first year as a tight end, he had 29 receiving touchdowns, and his longest reception was 68 yards. Trevor Phillips, he started all four years. He had over 2,700 receiving yards. He had 23 touchdowns and averaged 50 yards a game for us. And Jarvis Hall the right outside linebacker. He started all four years, and he racked up 242 tackles, 76 for a loss, and 18 sacks, seven interceptions, and one touchdown on defense. Patrick Smith, he started for three years, racked up 54 tackles, 31 of those for a loss, 17 of those are QB sacks, and he forced one fumble. Isaac Washington started for four years, at left end, or he was at least a backup it looks like. 51 tackles, 31 for a loss, 24 sacks, and it does look like he started two years and was backup for two. Now looking at the coaching changes and the players leaving, if you wanna see your team on this board, go ahead and hit the pause button now. I will note that the Georgia State offensive coordinator did get an extension, so he will be returning to Georgia State. And we will move on now to players leaving. We have a lot of them this year and a lot going to the draft. Isaac Vincent declaring for the draft along with Ben Wood, Anthony Gross, Steve Smith, Trevor Phillip, Isaac Washington, Jarvis Hall, Luther Madison, and McCray there. We have five projected in the first round and we have 10 or 11 going to the draft. So we'll have to see what happens here. We did try to keep a couple of these. Ben Wood, the big one, he did not want to return and neither did the transfer. He didn't want to return either. So here are the draft re results. Anthony Gross, Steve Smith, Trevor Phillips, Isaac Washington, and Ben Wood all go in the first round of the NFL draft. Georgia State is really churning out good talent for the NFL. So all of our guys go to the NFL, and we have no transfers that want to come to Georgia State, unfortunately. 
So we're gonna have to rely on recruiting here and signing day. So we'll take a look at who we have so far before the off season. We have 11 recruits already committed to Georgia State. And we have our top guy, Mitchell there, defensive end, a five star. And here is who we have on our board here. No particular order here on this board, but we would like to get Jonathan Morris, the other defensive end. We'd like to get Gavin Bostic, the athlete there, and athlete Pat Brown. And number 10 there on the board, Chris Porter. We'd like to get him. And here is who we get, Joe McGee. We lose out on him. He goes to Georgia. Gavin Bostic, we did get him, the athlete. We wanted him. We also got Glenn Clark, the wide receiver. Travis Williams, we kind of needed another quarterback, but we didn't get him. Pat Brown, we got the, that athlete as well. And Chris Porter, probably the most prized recruit in signing day here. We also get a couple others. And we get the number four ranked recruiting class in the country behind Notre Dame, Nebraska, and Michigan with nine three stars and nine four stars and a five star on that board. And we'll take a look at training results now. The top player on the team now is BJ Allen, 99 overall. Sean Lewis behind him with a 97 and Terrence Flynn with a 97. And you have Thomas Patrick and Thomas Hendricks there. Joe, uh, Jonathan Ridgeway there at quarterback. He may be the starter. He's gonna compete for it at a 92 overall. So if you wanna see something here, Pause the video now. We'll take a look at redshirting players now. And we're going to redshirt Chris Porter and Brown there at running back. We're kind of stacked at running back, and we don't need them right now. We're also going to redshirt Tom Powell and Darren McFadden there. I th think that's Darren McFadden. And Paul Cox, left tackle, a big recruiting guy we got. Also, Jake Hart, you're going to get redshirted as well and John Duncan, the strong safety, will get red-shirted. And we're going to take a look now at the 2022 schedule. Year 10, here is your schedule. We open up with number three Oklahoma in Cowboys Stadium in the Cowboys kickoff. And it follows as suit after that at home against Maryland, at home against number 21 LSU, then a bye week, then at home against number 25 Georgia, then on the road for Mississippi State, Kentucky, and number 18 Florida, then a bye week, then at home against Tennessee, on the road against number two Notre Dame, at home against Missouri, on the road against South Carolina, and at home against number 19, Vanderbilt. So it's an A-plus strength of schedule. Opening up against number three, Oklahoma. We're ranked number four as of now to open the season. So it's three versus four in the opener. If you're excited for that, leave a like down below. And if you have any comments, if let me know how you think our offseason went, how recruiting went. Leave a comment down below in the comments section for that. And if you're excited, hit that like button, share this video, hit that subscribe button if you're new, if you wanna see more Georgia State Dynasty. You can follow me on Twitter, at Madden Ballers. And we'll catch you guys when we take on number three, Oklahoma, in the Cowboys kickoff from Cowboys Stadium.